Hello guys, welcome back to Asorok Vibes TV. In this video, we'll be looking at the top 5 most dangerous states in Nigeria 2023. In our previous videos, we looked at the most dangerous countries in Africa and the most dangerous countries in the world. I will drop the link of the videos in the description so you can check them out after watching this video. As a matter of fact, Nigeria is among the most terrorized countries in the world. But not every part of Nigeria is dangerous to travel to and live in. The northern part of Nigeria remains the most dangerous region of the country, particularly the northeastern part and the northwest state of Kaduna. In this video, I will rank the five most dangerous of them. The northern part of Nigeria is mainly dominated by Muslims. Also, ethno-religious crises are a major issue. There are many cases of people getting killed for making certain statements. Boko Haram, armed banditry and headsmen are a major issue in these areas. But they are no longer limited to these areas though, like it was some 8 years ago. Please know that millions of people still live in these states and not every part of them are extremely dangerous. You need to be very careful when traveling to any of these states. This video is getting too long, so let's go straight into the list. But before then, you have been watching, why haven't you subscribed? Please subscribe, like and share after watching and drop your opinion in the comment section. The number 5 state on this list is Adamawa. This state is located in the northeastern part of Nigeria. Adamawa is dangerous to travel to and live in. The rate at which criminalities of all forms ravage this state is so unbearable for residents, mostly those in remote areas. Be very careful if you have plans of visiting this state and as a matter of fact, not every part of this state are totally unsafe. Ethno-religious crisis, kidnapping and killings are normal occurrences in many parts of this state. And the fourth state on this list is Bauchi. Bauchi, located in northeastern Nigeria, is highly dangerous. There is a high level of kidnapping, terror attacks and ethno-religious conflicts plaguing the state on a daily basis. The menace of Boko Haram extremists and ISWAP insurgents still wreak havoc to the indigents of this state. Just recently, over 19 people were killed in a terror attack near Tafawa Baliwa in Borogo, which is also known as a Christian village. The capital Bauchi LGA is very unsafe. Traveling to and within this state is highly dangerous. You need to be very careful. The number 3 state on this list is Kaduna. Kaduna, located in northwestern Nigeria, is the most dangerous state in that region. The state is very dangerous to travel and live in. Kaduna state has a high kidnapping and terrorism risk throughout the state, and there is also a very high risk for ethno-religious conflict. This happens regularly. Southern Kaduna, which is predominantly dominated by Christians and minorities, remains the most terrorized community in Nigeria as killings by terrorist invaders are common. It doesn't sound like news to most Nigerians as terror attacks are very consistent and the state and federal government are doing almost absolutely nothing to protect the people of these communities. The two most recent reported terrorist attacks in Southern Kaduna, the first took place on the 12th of March of this year at night where about 17 people were killed and others injured within 40 minutes of attack. The second one happened on the 15th, that's just 3 days interval, where 10 people were killed, 4 were injured and others were declared missing. All happened in Zango Kataf local government. Mr. Francis Sani, the council chairman, accused the military of not preventing these attacks because there is a heavy presence of soldiers in this town. And also there are reports of military supervising these attacks, which was alleged by one Dr. Samuel Ache, the president of ATAP Community Development Association, ACDA. The number two state on this list is Yobe. Yobe, located in the northeastern part of Nigeria, remains extremely dangerous and unsafe, with a very high level of terrorism plaguing the state. The presence of Boko Haram and ISWAP terrorists are severely found across this state. Yobe has one of the highest criminality rates in Nigeria. Kidnapping of innocent students and killing of inhabitants are common occurrence in this state, which makes it very uninhabitable. And the most dangerous state in Nigeria is, I would like you to guess, I don't know if you are good at guessing, 
but let me give you two seconds to guess. Bornu State, which is located in the northeastern part of Nigeria and has a population of around 6 million, remains the most dangerous state in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, this state is where modern day terrorism started in Nigeria some years ago. And this state is like the headquarters of terrorist organizations, including the most dreaded Boko Haram, ISWAP, and ISIS affiliated groups. Bonu State has a very high risk of kidnapping, and terror attacks occur very frequent. If you want to visit Bonu State, you need to be extremely careful, but you can't be too careful, honestly. Traveling to the state and within the state is not safe at all, as one faces a very high risk of abduction. The popular Sambisa Forest, which is popularly known as the headquarters of terrorist organizations, is located in this state. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. In case you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe and let me know your opinion in the comment section. The northern part of Nigeria, particularly the northeast, is the most dangerous part of the country, a region ravaged by a high level of terrorism and armed banditry. To win the war against insecurity in our nation, the government firstly needs to show a lot of concern. We also need to strengthen our security forces, educate the people, including potential terrorists, and create jobs, which is very important. Religious leaders also have a major role to play. Because in Nigeria, you are either a Christian or a Muslim. Terrorism is an ideology that spreads over time. And believe me, you can't win the war against it through the use of force alone. It's not like armed robbery or cultism. If this video does well, I will make another video of the top 10 most dangerous states in Nigeria, where I will start from number 6 to number 10. Hopefully one day we can experience peace in Nigeria. So keep praying and also let's keep working. God bless Nigeria. I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe. Chai! There is God there is God, oh. The plus we are sharing, there is God, oh. There is God, oh. There is God, oh. There is God. Oh. There is God.